Hi. Uh, as just told by Johanna, uh, I come from the Dutch scene. I've been very active in the Dutch scene for the past 15 years. And there are some crucial differences which caused me to encounter the thing I want to talk about pretty late in life. Because I joined the international scene maybe five years ago. And at some point a thing happened to me that had never happened to me before, which is somebody sent me a character. <laughs> in the Dutch scene, people create their characters. No people ever have the same character twice because we make them ourselves. Reruns are extremely rare. And now all of a sudden somebody sends me 10 pages and says, this is your character. Wow. And I realized this was like the fourth run of that LARP. And I remember at the time thinking, that means there have been three other people that played this character. But then, of course, there was no way of finding out who that would be. And for years, I never really paid that much attention. I saw people talking to each other about LARPs, about playing the same character, sometimes. But a while ago, I was at a LARP, and that one hit me. It happens to all of us. I came home, I was pepped, I was confused, I was bleedy, I was bleed crushing, and suddenly I felt this extreme need to speak to the woman who played this character in the other run of the law. So as you do these days, I found her on Facebook. I sent her a private message going, hi, I'm you. <laughs> and you are under no obligation, but would you like to talk about that? Well, I was very lucky because she was super enthusiastic and for a week we sent stories to and fro and she had all the appropriate emotions because she understood that this very tragic thing, why it was so tragic. Oh my God, I can't imagine that happening to me. Sad face, sad face. And it was amazing. <laughs> and it went on for days and it helped me so much with the bleed. Maybe possibly more than any person in the LARP in my run talking about these things. And... I started thinking, this is actually really weird because I feel so connected to a woman I've never met, I might never meet. And at some point I said, we're practically sisters, and of course that's a huge exaggeration, or was it? It was a really weird emotion. So I pitched it to some people and said, has it ever happened to you? And some said, yeah, kinda, and some said, never. I was a bit confused. I thought, should I make this a thing? And then they said, well, there's a slot in Nordic LARP Talks. <laughs> that was... <laughs> And I think that was Saturday, so I went, shit. So, <laughs> this is, um, so I had to suddenly think, and then it's insecurity kicks in, and you think, I'm probably alone in this. I'm gonna talk about a thing that never happened to any other person ever. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. So I had to do scientific research. So I made a poll on LARPers BFF, <laughs> which was the, the best I could do on short notice. Uh, and apparently, at least some 72 people experienced this as well. So that was good, because that meant I was not alone. Hurrah. Uh, well, before I talk about the good things I think happen here, I want to take note of a few things. Of course, none of us has ever played the same character as another person. Let's face it, we bring so much of ourselves into the game. No, a role can be the same, but the exact same character Never happens. And I saw a lot of people react in the same Facebook poll, especially in the comments, saying they had less than positive emotions attached to that. Feeling inadequate, feeling like their experience wasn't unique anymore, feeling like somebody else had a better time, and of course that's all super valid. And I hope people are going to have amazing talks about that in the future, because this can cause a lot of confusion as well. Fully want to acknowledge this is not all a positive thing, but for me and for many people, it is often a very positive thing. So I'd rather go back to saying why I think this is awesome. It's a great icebreaker. It's a great way to connect to other LARPers. As I said, I felt very connected to a woman I've never met. And I saw a lot of people, usually on things like Knutterpunkt, when I introduce people, I try to find a LARP they both played. And say, hey, did you know they were at another run of that LARP you liked so much? I saw a lot of people in the comments of my super scientific Facebook poll say, I met my friends through playing the same character. We started chatting, then we met up, then we had a beer, now we're friends. Isn't that awesome? And I also found it works with degrees of separation, because when I go to Knutepunkt and I say, he played that LARP you liked so much, he said, really, who did he play? And he says, this character, and somebody goes, no way, that was like my best friend! <laughs> this is so cool! This is 
is so awesome. Bam. Instant connection based on a shared experience they didn't even really share. <laughs> I think... I'm sorry, but I think that's pretty unique and that's pretty fascinating. Also, it can help, as it did me with post-LARP drop and bleed. Of course, the people that were in your run know what you've been through. But there's also these other people that can really relate to this experience. As I said, why was this thing so tragic? Oh, say no more. Because of that thing in our background with our dad. <laughs> that totally makes sense. And that's amazing. <laughs> I love that. I love sharing these stories and I don't even have to tell my entire background before I tell an anecdote. And it can help. It can really... And now I have kind of a confession to make. I'm a horrible completionist. I have this safe game so I can play 20 times and have all the endings. Because what could have been? What would have happened if I did betray my brother, did marry him, whatever? So for me, and maybe for some other people as well, it can help us to complete this story that's in our mind. Because there's this mosaic and some things are not filled in. Because you make a certain decision and all of a sudden you can't make all these other decisions anymore. And in a way now you can. Because maybe that other player did betray her brother. And she can tell you all about how he reacted. And it wasn't the same brother, but still. <laughs> For me, it really enriched my story to hear of all the things that happened in her run. They didn't happen in mine. And they kind of became my stories in some sort of weird, parallel universe sort of way. And that helped me. It helped me find closure. And it was amazing. So. We kind of already acknowledge this need we have because I see an enormous rise in the amount of people making a shared Facebook group after a LARP for people from all the runs. And one of the reasons they do that, because the first thread is always, I was this character in run one, who was me? That's the first thread that happens every time. So I'm not the only person with this need, and I think it can be a really cool thing. So next time you want to, your the LARP is done, and you still feel so connected to the character, you want to know everything about the character. Find your co-players, because they were there when that thing happened, but also see if you can maybe find that other person that's kind of waiting, because they know the LARP has been run again, for somebody to give a PM that says, hi, I'm you. Because I think they would appreciate it. Thank you very much.